Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm starting out with a bare face right now, but as we kind of get into this video, you're gonna see me layering on a lot of products, specifically cream products, because as you can tell by the title of this video, I am doing a highlighting and contouring kind of tutorial. This is super requested. I get this on Twitter all the time. So a month or two ago, I made a big poll of different videos and this was in the poll and this was the most voted video so I think people want to see this I hope you guys enjoy it just before we kind of get into it I just want to announce that this is not something that I would do every day or I would recommend doing every day like putting on this much makeup will cause breakouts and acne and I mean if you feel like this is necessary for your everyday routine then you do you if you want to do that then go ahead I'm just saying in personal experience with dealing with skin and all that as you can tell for the most part my skin is pretty clear at the moment so I think it's just because I've cut back on a lot of foundation and all that so anyway um yeah let's go ahead and get started and I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial okay so to start out if you're gonna be using all these products especially cream contours it's really really great to use a cream primer or just a cream base or something so that when you're dealing with like your I feel like I just said cream so many times. I'm actually going to use my L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. This is so great and this is pretty much the exact same thing as MAC Strobe Cream. So these are basically identical if you don't want to spend the pretty penny on the MAC. The L'Oreal is amazing. It just gives you a really shiny look. Um, so this might be a little... Um, shinier than Max Strobe Cream, but it gives you like the most glowy, beautiful thing ever. I love it so much. This I might like this more than Max Strobe Cream actually because I think it's amazing. I'm gonna try and show you guys for this video high-end products if I'm using them. A really good dupe for drugstore. Um, so for example, I'm gonna be using my high-end Chanel foundation. This is the Chanel Aqua foundation, and this is basically the only foundation I've been using because it's the perfect match for my skin. But otherwise, a really great option is the Rimmel Match Perfection. I don't think, is this my tone right now? I don't think this is my shade. I'm just gonna start by applying that in the center of my face and then blending outward. I like to dab it. I suggest using a beauty blender just because, or a damp one. Oh, and as I said, I'm showing you dupes. So this is my Real Technique sponge. I'm just not using it because it's a little dirty, dirtier than my beauty blender, so I just went with the cleaner option. But this is basically the exact same thing as my beauty blender. This one just has a flat side and then a pointed side, and this is way cheaper. Um, it's by Real Techniques. This is Beauty Blender, which you can get at Sephora. Um, so yeah, after you kind of just dab that in, you are good to go. You have a good base, and now it's time to conceal and highlight and contour and, you know, all the fun stuff. So for this um, video, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. I'm going to have a picture right here, which is a contour kit by NYX. I don't actually have this. I'm going to pick it up tomorrow. I think I'm just going to make a stop at Ulta, but yeah, basically it's... A cream contour kit they all work the same some are better than others but that next one I've heard really great things about and I did research and reviews and to make sure I'm not suggesting something crappy so I think you guys should be good to go and if you have a foundation that's too dark for you I also recommend um, using just a foundation that's way too dark so as you can see this is way darker than my natural skin tone so if I didn't have this, which I picked up today actually, I would be using a darker foundation. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start by highlighting. So I'm gonna start with the middle shade, which is that banana yellow shade. And what you're gonna wanna do with that is I'm going to take that on a concealer brush. I'm taking my concealer and I'm just, um, I'm taking my brush and the concealer and then I'm just putting a really little bit under my eyes like that. This isn't going to be the only concealer we use, so that's why I'm keeping it really light um, and I'm not heavily packing it on. I'm just taking a couple swipes and then just forming it in a triangle to highlight and conceal. So, as you can tell, that's super light, but that's kind of the main goal with highlighting. Um, you want to really brighten up this kind of center of your face and then contour and bronze the outside. 
Um, by the way, I'm not doing anything like I think I'm a professional or I know what I'm talking about. I literally just learned from YouTube. So I just kind of want to share with you what works for me, you know? And then we're going to also take that yellow concealer and just put it at the tip of our chin um, just to brighten that up. And this part of our forehead, you want to just kind of brighten this all up and... I don't, I've never tried this concealer kind of thing out, um, so we're gonna see how this blends, but I really have no idea. For the contour part, you're gonna, I'm gonna contour our actually cheekbones, but I'm also gonna bronze with this. So, um, I'm gonna use this first shade here just because it's the lightest, so I think it will look the most natural. And I'm just taking my Sigma Large Fluff brush. Honestly, whatever little brush you wanna use, I don't think a brush really makes a difference for this part. But I'm just kind of placing it where I would contour, where my cheeks are. And instead of dragging down, you kind of want to drag the excess um, up. I'm just taking that first brown again and sculpting out our forehead. If you have a large forehead, this will make it look smaller. And if you have a tiny forehead, you probably don't have to contour your forehead at all. I have a tiny-ish forehead, but I'm doing it for the sake of the video. Um, and then also jawline, you just kind of want to lightly swipe where you want your jaw to look sharp. Going back in with that concealer, I'm just taking a foundation brush and kind of cleaning right up under here because you want that to stay bright right there. So I did a really light amount there, just kind of messed it, threw it on there. I'm blabbering so much in this video, but I'm just trying to talk through it. Anyway, I'm just taking my damp beauty blender and just tapping this out for right now. Um, what a lot of people like to do also is take their foundation a little bit more and blend it out. But I'm just going to see how this works out for us <laughs> um, because I don't want to pile more foundation on if I don't have to. That concealer blended out really beautifully. I really love that. That's called Banana in the Cream Contour Kit by Anastasia. Um, I don't know if we're going to need to end up using more concealer. We have to figure it out. Oh my god, pause, we forgot to do the nose. What you're gonna wanna do is, if you wanna make your nose appear slimmer, you're gonna make your contour lines closer in. If you wanna make your nose appear farther apart, you're gonna make your contour lines farther out. I'm gonna start with highlighting though. So you're just gonna bring this right down the bridge of your nose. Anyway, you guys are just gonna have to ignore the vacuum noise in the back because I gotta keep filming and I can't do anything about that. I'm just taking the same first shade we used in the beginning on that precision brush and just loading up the tip of your brush with that. And then I just like to make an even contour right down the two sides. So I just kinda start, you don't wanna, you wanna start, sorry, I kinda went out of focus, but you kinda wanna start up at top here, you know, and then just evenly kind of make a line. My line's not perfect, I just kind of like to blend out. I don't really know how to get that perfect straight line, to be honest. But I'm just gonna start with my Beauty Blender and just tap it in. And I'm just gonna mute this because this vacuum is annoying and you guys get it. You can just watch what I'm doing.
I just finished blending out my contour and highlight. I think this actually looks really good. So I basically just used this shade and this shade, which is um, Banana, the highlight, and then Cinnamon as the bronzer in the Cream Contour Kit by Anastasia. I'm going to take a fluffy crease brush and just use it to set the concealer. So I'm taking that, tapping off the excess, and then just setting where we highlighted under our eyes. Just to mattify it, um, yeah, I think this looks really nice. I'm going to set the chin, set the bridge of the nose, set that forehead, just, I don't know, just around the mouth and kind of right around here, right under the contour, not the contour part. I'm going to set the bronzer with um, an actual bronzer. <laughs> I'm going to set it with my Makeup Forever HD Pro Sculpting palette. I haven't seen this on YouTube in a while, so I thought it'd be fun to just switch it up and use it. I'm just blending that. And I'm, I'm adding more product just to make it a little more intense, but we're going to blend it out after, and this is just to make sure the bronzer doesn't move and it stays the color, because once you blend out some stuff, you don't want to lose pigmentation. Of the bronzer just what I like to do to finish it off is I'm just gonna take a little highlight I'm using max light scapade this is a really light highlight I'm using this on a big tapered brush and what I'm doing is I'm just kind of feathering it on and then just lightly like hardly touching my face going like this and just kind of the center points this part is super unnecessary, but just for a little sheen, why not? So that's it for my contour and highlight tutorial. I hope you guys all enjoyed it, and I hope you found this helpful. Um, yeah, this was really fun to film, and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So if you guys decide to use this routine, or if you guys want to suggest for people down below good dupes for this palette, or, you know, any of the stuff... Um, that I chose to use on my face, then please help some friends out down there and, you know, do that. But, yeah, all the products I use will be linked down below per usual, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Mwah.